course it does because the core of fame is that people give you attention you're known to people they know you in their mind and they know you maybe also in their heart and this could be either way could be they know you and they don't like you or they know you and they like you or maybe they love you or maybe they're their fans or maybe even enemy bottom line is you have people's attention and that by itself is energy so to be famous is to be to is to enjoy people's attention and with that you could do miracles if you know how to use it properly in leadership we call attention as the currency of leadership because how can you exercise leadership and mobilize if you don't have people at people's attention so if you have people's attention through being famous then you can do something with it in business also you have people's attention so whatever product or service that you have then you can connect with these people you can tell them and through that connection you can communicate and then you can mobilize and you can influence them and you can expand your business and 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 and, and grow from there so fame definitely is a big asset now at the same time in the context of leadership you have to be also careful about fame because it can easily get into your head if fame got into your head and your thinking was destabilized your ego became inflated and you started looking at your success as you know self-made success it's all about you you know your greatness your genius your uh, skills and talents and brilliance excluding all these people who have helped you to become famous because you can't just become famous on your own in general you need a platform people have to help you to achieve the success that you created or whatever got you to be famous there, there should be a context and I'm sure that involved people so if they you let fame get into your head then that could be destructive so then in that case fame becomes against success and success does not become or it becomes hard to sustain success anymore why because you lose you lost your your sense of wise and realistic judgment we maybe the most dangerous part in this is that you lose your sense of reality so you don't see things as they really are it's all distorted and i'm sure uh, you've seen enough stories or uh, I'm, i mean in the media or you've heard enough stories and maybe in your life also where you saw where success right or fame got into people's mind and then they lost their friends they lost their family and most importantly they lost even themselves because what i mean what would you gain if you lo if you if you won the entire world but lost yourself lost your soul as it's said and lost your core so fame yes should you become famous in the context of leadership and business and you know trying to create big impact yes connect and get as many people's attention as possible right i don't know if that's called fame or not maybe it is right but be careful um, on be careful with how do you utilize all this energy and opportunity that's provided to you and make sure that it helps you further grow as a person and as a purpose rather than you know turning against you because it could kill you through ego fame could kill you